Thank you, Father. Honor and glory be unto you, Lamb of God. Praise to your name. Worship. Adoration. Majesty. Be ascribed unto you, Lamb of God, this morning. What another glorious day that you have ushered us into. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the nations bow in adoration to you, Lamb of God. This is your day. This is your day. You are speaking to us from the womb of the morning. You're calling a people that you have summoned to hear the voice of your spirit and respond accordingly. We thank you. Thank you that you have found us once again worthy to be present, to be counted, to be part of a people that you have called, oh God. We bless your name. We honor you this morning. Thank you, Father, for that which your spirit is doing in this season and time. All oh, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, the heart of man has not even begun to comprehend these things. But we are grateful that you've called us, that you have chosen us, that we are part of, yes, the living. Honor and praise be unto you this morning. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Praise to you this morning. Glory and honor and adoration be unto you, Lamb of God. Thank you for the things that your spirit once again, yes, is tearing. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity that you have granted unto us to continue to advance, yes, in the ladder of your spirit. I bless your name. I honor you once again this morning. As we look into your word, as we look into your voice, as we hear your speaking for this glorious new day, I pray, Lord, that our heart, yes, will respond accordingly. The Lord, we will not be drawn behind, that will not be left behind, but rather we will all journey as you bring us to, yes, a new pedestrian, a new location in the spirit. Thank you. We are finding the path of your spirit. We are locating the ancient part and we are responding accordingly. We bless your name once again. Thank you for every heart, every mind, every woman, man, yes, that you have ordained to be part of this, yes, broadcast. Wherever they are, steer their heart, bring them, oh God. Yes, plunge them into, into this frequency. Help them to hear and to respond. I pray, Holy Spirit, that Lord, no one will be left behind as you bring us to that point and place where you gather us to the place of your intention. I thank you. I honor you. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Friends, welcome once again this morning to the Potter's Gate online broadcast. As you know, my name is Isaiah Phillips Akintola. Wherever you are joining from this morning, I want to welcome you, amen, to another beautiful live broadcast. Yes, this is our broadcast Sunday morning. Well, uh, this, uh, this time is a bit awkward, but this is the time I believe the Spirit of the Lord will have us look into this profound, amen, voice of the Lord. Wherever you are this morning, I want to welcome, welcome all my dear sisters, amen, in the Lord. Sister uh, uh, Priscilla, I see you. Sister Tina, I see you. And of course, Sister Kumisa, God bless you so very much. Uh, everyone, welcome. And anyone that will be joining us from wherever you'll be connecting from this morning, all right, if you happen not to be in fellowship this morning, in some church fellowshipping, amen, you are more than welcome to join us. This is, amen, a platform where God speaks to his people. This is a prophetic platform. This is a platform where heaven has hairmark and design, yes, to speak to his church. 
God is doing a new thing in our day and he has given us a mandate. Yes, he's given us a prophetic man mandate, amen, to continue to bring the word of, of, of his presence, the word of his intention, amen, to the church. The Lord is building his house. Wisdom is building us. And amen, in this season, there are new, uh, if you will, new, new, new stones. There are new emphasis. There are new uh, uh, directions that the Lord, amen, is bringing to the fore. And I am ready, amen, to present some of this word to us as the Spirit of God continue to speak to us. Just uh, uh, before I went to bed yesterday night, you know, just as I was getting ready to go to bed, the Spirit of the Lord spoke expressly to my spirit. And what he said to my spirit, amen, is what I'm about. In fact, I already had a message that was cued for this morning. I already had a message that was cued for this morning. But when the Lord began to speak to me, amen, from that, you know, order, I knew that this is a word, amen, in season for the church, for the body of Christ. So please do give me your ears this morning. Why some of the things that I may be saying, amen, may sound similar, may look familiar, but I want you to give me, amen, a new sense of hearing ears i want you to present to, to to the lord this morning amen a different attitude amen and respond to what the lord amen is going to be saying to you because remember the attitude to which we present ourselves to which we come amen before god to which we hear god amen matters in terms of how we respond to change the lord said to the you know to ezekiel he said these people they are forever coming they are forever hearing <laughs> they will sit before you say but they are not willing to change in fact they're just coming to here but they're not going to respond they're not going to change to what you're saying all right so I, I pray and i i want to believe god that we will not be amen like the children of israel amen who who sat before the prophet of the lord who sat before the word of the lord amen but we're not willing amen to allow the word to engage them in such a manner that amen uh, uh, that they will you know change amen this morning as i was having fellowship with my family i was telling them all right that the essence of you know engaging the word amen is for us to change is for us to be trapped transform amen the reason why they gave us the word amen is is for our transformation is for our reformation yes the word of god is the instrument of change nothing else can change us no power no human being no system amen has the power the authority to change a person except the word of god that's why the word of god amen is very very critical and important to us and the attitude to which amen yes we 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 we, we relate or we connect to the word of God plays, amen, an important role. So I'm begging you this morning, amen, to listen to, amen, what the spirit of God is saying. Of course, I can claim that I fully understand everything, all right, that the Lord, amen, wants to say through this message. But one thing is clear. I know the Lord has spoken to me, amen, and I know when he speaks in a manner that he wants me to communicate it. So basically what I'm doing this morning, amen, is to communicate the heart of God. This is a prophetic word, amen, to the church, to the body of Christ. And I'm praying, I'm hoping, amen, that we will all respond. Of course, you've seen it yesterday. Now, the, when, the moment the Lord spoke to me about yeah, uh, uh, this this word. The first thing I did, amen, was to create a caption, which is like me. I create amen, a caption on my on my Facebook header, amen. A season, amen, of windows of opportunity. This is a season, amen, of uh, uh, windows, not just a window, windows of opportunity. And like I said, I'm still tracking this word, but from the little that I have heard, from the little that, amen, has been dropped into my spirit, I just want to put it out there, all right? Well, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you have been following us, you will know that we just came out of a season, amen, of 21 days fasting. And the Lord has done so much in that period in time. The the Lord has deposited, amen, so much. The Lord has said so many things to us. And there are still things that the Lord, amen, is speaking to us from that period, from that season, amen, of spiritual investment. Because that is what it is. 
all right that was a period a season where amen we invested amen hugely with you know into the the the, the dimension of our spiritual growth and i want to be you know once again excuse me i want to express appreciation to uh, uh to, to 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 those you know uh individuals out there who took the time amen to wait to pray to fast i tell you like i said there are things that have been done in the spirit there are things that have been established in the spirit things that you will only get to begin to appreciate maybe after amen the fourth you know a, a generation amen yes there are there are things that we do in the spirit amen that that lives far beyond our own day of existence all right and one of those things amen is what we saw in this period of 21 days fasting i believe that season has opened all kinds of channels in the spirit now many of you did not know this you know just after we finished you know the 21 days fasting the enemy attacked me again strongly i mean i was attacked in such a powerful way yeah with sickness that you know I, I, it, it, you will you will almost think that i was going to die and that was the period i said well i needed time out all right to just get to hear and know what the lord is doing and get to understand you know what was going on you know within my life because i mean we just finished 21 days fasting and until a few days ago i began to you know get clearer and a better understanding all right of what what transpired because we hit something in the spirit particularly i hit something in the spirit and you know that the power of hell the works the, the works of darkness amen the principalities the thrones the wicked spirit in high places they were all agitated and they were beginning amen yes to be afraid of what was about to be unleashed and so they decided era to attack me but not just attack me physically i was attacked mentally emotionally i was attacked almost in every area all right that you know one can think of and of course i didn't i didn't i didn't say this to anybody i didn't tell anybody this was a battle that i had to face i had to go through all right and i thank god that the lord gave me victory i've come out amen a stronger person a better person a more robust person in the spirit amen a more determined person hallelujah to continue to advance amen god's prophetic counsel for this season in time and i want to thank god for those of you amen who pick things by the spirit who were just there praying for me because i know all right that without your prayer i couldn't have you know scaled through this so i'm very grateful grateful to God. Amen. For those of you who did not, you know, ask me question, but you were just there in the spirit praying and seeking the face of God on my behalf. And in the midst of that, amen, I was able to also finish the material, amen, on, on, on you know, uh, uh, the, the Zacchaeus generation, the people of Ascent. What a material. What a, what, what a word, amen. What a release. All of this, you see, these are all lessons for us to learn, amen. God is showing us a divine pattern they are revealing certain things to us amen and they are showing us the way of ascent it's not going to be easy like we said amen that when you want to ascend to the heel of the lord to the place of god's divine intention be ready for the battle of your life be ready amen for an attack be ready for anything because indeed the enemy is going to throw to you whatever amen is within their arsenal they are not going to stop they are not going to fold their hands amen and watch you move to the next level they are going to make sure that they attack you they do everything amen to try to stop you you know how it, how it was even in the 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 seasons of our lord jesus christ remember the attack so these things are real we are in a time we're in the season of warfare but the nature of this warfare has to be understood amen it has to be understood amen it has to be clear to us we cannot we cannot engage this new day amen with the same old mindset one of the things that i believe that we have that we came out of in out of this you know season of 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 of, of fasting amen is to begin to understand who we who we are amen and who the lord is amen from uh, from a higher pedestal from a new level from a new height in the spirit like i've said we have gained new height in the spirit all right we've gained new height in the spirit and i'm praying that we will continue to advance and continue to develop and continue to mature in that spiritual height so that amen whatever the lord wants to reveal or is revealing to us amen we will be able amen to make the best use of it now coming to 
this uh, a word a season of windows of opportunity like i said this is what they dropped in my spirit yesterday night now before i go into some explanation regarding this word in fact before maybe before i say what i want to say let me quickly read the scripture and i just posted the scripture yesterday uh on my facebook timeline uh where, where's that scripture I, you know I, I posted the scripture yesterday seek the lord while he may be found i posted the scripture and i'm sure many people just of course you know uh, you know looked at it and just uh, you know breeze the way you know like we would normally do and this is something that i you know as a prophetic voice i want to i want to warn you and i want to really really amen, encourage you please do not approach god's word and the things of god from the way you used to approach them don't come before the word of god presuming amen that well i've heard this before i've seen this before i've heard this before it's not just about you liking it it's about you particularly when we post things on our site please ask yourself what is god saying now regarding this word even if that word you heard it yesterday even if god spoke to you from that same scripture amen two days ago three days ago and that word is brought back to you amen like i'm gonna be sharing something that i saw again in relating to what god said to us that was spoken regarding zacchaeus all right because zacchaeus was a man who understood opportunity and he seized that opportunity he saw the opportunity coming and he positioned himself in in a manner that amen the lord was able hallelujah to speak to him. i mean this man caught the attention of the lord zacchaeus I believe that Zacchaeus will continue to speak to us. Like I said in my book, Zacchaeus has become to us a prophetic pattern. It's become to us a prophetic word. It's become to us, amen, a kind of, because Zacchaeus was a man who lived his, his, his day as if, amen, as if he was in the 21st century. Because everything that reflects, you know, the life of Zacchaeus are a manifestation of what, you know, we, 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 we capture or we, we define fine today he was a he was a man in the marketplace so uh, the issue well this man is not as you know he's he, he doesn't understand you know what it means to be busy this was a man who was busy amen he understood the concept amen of living in within the marketplace yes he was an entrepreneur he was he was in was he was he was a businessman you understand he was a state man he was well known he was well positioned you understand he was a man of great influence he was a man of great affluence the bible said he was not just a prosperous man he was a wealthy man so you begin to understand the concept the idea the position that which this guy was living his life from yet this man amen was able to seize a moment in the spirit amen a window of opportunity was open and he was able to see it and he took advantage of it to me i can't get past that to me that is that is huge that is that is strong Zacchaeus, like I will say here, is, is a type of, you know, your Mark Zuckerberg of our day, or your Bill Gates, amen, or your uh, 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 Elon Musk, well, you know, all of this, you know, or, or your, you know, the, 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 the Amazon guy. I mean, this guy, this guy, amen. It is a man his brain amen his marketplace his brain his brain is 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 his concept of thinking amen is business he, this is a business guy this is a shrewd businessman you don't understand the way i'm saying this thing i wish you will understand all right this guy called zacchaeus but yet this man hallelujah what was able to shift in the spirit you see it's not about god prospering him it's not about all of that. This man saw an opportunity. He saw an opportunity. I'm talking about a man, a season of window of opportunity. And I please, I beg of you. I'm begging you. Please, I beg you. Ask 
the Lord to help you understand what I'm trying to say. Because like I said, even me, I've not fully come to an understanding. I'm just capturing this thing. I believe this, this image that you're seeing before you will give you some level of insight, maybe an understanding, all right, to, to begin to, you know, have a flow into what the Spirit of God, because I believe that the way God will communicate to each and every one of us will be different because we're not all in the same level. We're not all in the same position of passion. We're not all in the same dimension, amen, of quest. But one thing is clear, hallelujah. If we are going to, yes, seize this moment, then we have to see the opportunity. We have to see, amen, the window of opportunity that is open. And I'm saying that there is a window, hallelujah, that the Spirit said has been open to the saints, to the people of God, amen. Whatever that window is, I really don't know, but I know it is something that is going to enhance your capability. It is something that is going to enhance, hallelujah, your sense of pressing in, hallelujah. It is something that is going to accelerate you. It is something that is going to broaden, hallelujah, your sense of depth and revelation. It is this window of opportunity, amen, will give you, a, you know, a sense into spiritual realities. This window of opportunity, hallelujah, will kind of give you a quantum leap, hallelujah, into dimensions, amen, We allow you to see into the next realm, the next in intentions of God for your life, for your maybe for your home for your ministry i believe when an opportunity is is given to us it it, it comes with an ability an enhancement a capability amen it comes with an opportunity that we will not naturally have amen it, it gives us amen if you will a momentum to do things to you know to pray you know you know normally you maybe you pray for half an hour and then you're done but when the window of opportunity is open in the place amen of prayer then you find Find yourself, amen, going one hour and it's like you, are, you have not even begun. It, this is not about you. It's because a window, hallelujah, has been opened in the spirit. And this is something I believe the Lord, amen, wants me to pass across. I don't know who this word is for, but I know it's a word for the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, this is not the time, amen, to, to give up. This is not the time, amen, yes, to, to go into hiding. They are opening, hallelujah, a window window of heaven they are opening the the channel hallelujah of 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 of, of heaven they are they, they are opening your spirit amen to connect with certain grace certain ability certain capability certain level of understanding amen is gonna be deposited in you amen to accelerate you amen to to energize you yes they will wake you amen in certain odd hours hallelujah to do certain things you see in this season in time and I want you to get what I'm trying to say. I'm not just talking about an opportunity in the natural realm. I'm talking about opportunity in the spirit, of course, that will impact pack the way things are in the natural because when amen a door is open in the spirit at the end of the day it makes landfall it impacts things in the human natural realm remember the human natural realm is always the finality of manifestation like i always say all right so that is not where we are looking at what we are looking at is yes that first call that first point amen that 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 opening in the spirit being able to see it when everything is still looking, amen, unarranged, when things still looking like, amen, you, you fully don't understand, but yet you, you come with a mindset that I want to understand. I want to connect. Hallelujah. I want to align myself. I want to, I want, I, I, I want to plunge myself, amen, in this, in this door, in this position. Hallelujah. I, I want to be found in this new thing while this new thing, amen, is still not coming clear why uh, uh, people still are still confused about it amen you want to go ahead you want to be the first fruit amen yes that is that you know that that has offered you know himself i was listening to to a man of god preach yesterday night and he was giving the testimony of Riambonki. It was given a testimony of Riambonki. When the Lord called Riambonki to, you know, to do to do something, you know. You know, remember Riambonki was one of the 
one of the greatest evan you know evangelists we had amen in 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 our generation this man god has used him to you know to host all kinds of crusades running into thousands and millions of people i mean in my country i know that because i mean Riambonki did a lot of work in nigeria so i know i've been into uh you know few of his you know of his of his uh, crusade and this man was saying when god called Riambonki, and Riambonki was like god uh, lord i'm so in awe of you that i don't even know why you've called me to do this kind of huge you know job you know of of changing transforming nations and all of that you know and the lord replied riambonke and said well you are not the first on the list that i called in fact you are the 10th person the only difference is you are the first to respond wow i broke down i broke down i said lord jesus i mean yes riambonke said lord wow you've called me to do this massive work i don't know what i've deserved you know to for you to call me to do this kind of a great job you know and all of that and all of that and feeling so important about yourself you know that god has called you and to do this great job and the lord said to him riambonki sorry you're not the first person in fact you are the 10th person you are the 10th person all right on the list unfortunately or maybe fortunately you are the first to respond can you see you are the first to respond. And this is what I'm talking about. That when a window of opportunity comes, like we are saying right now, God is steering the nations. There is, there is a steering in the spirit. There are new things that heaven, hallelujah, are, are, are establishing within the earth, within nations. There are voices that God, amen, is steering. There are people, there are, there are new initiatives that they want to birth. Prophetic initiative, kingdom initiative, amen, governmental apostolic initiative, new churches, hallelujah, that will be established. There are, there are, there are new kingdom focused business that will be established, yes. There are new resources that heaven is releasing right now, yes. And they are looking for those who are ready, who are prepared. Because like I said, they said, this is a window. I'm going to be giving you a vision that God showed me. That, that, that ties into what I'm talking about. Alright? So, there are all kinds of things that God wants to do. Alright? And we need to have clarity. One of those things is that we must see ourselves in the light of the new, amen, God, of what God wants to do. Let's not present ourselves the way Gideon presented himself. When they were looking for a deliverer, when they were looking for somebody who was going to represent, amen, yes, the army of God who was going to fight the Midianites and, and, and deliver the people of God from, from the shame, hallelujah, that, you know, they, they, they've, been, they've, been, they've, they've been brought into, they found Gideon. They found Gideon. Gideon was the least in his father's house. He looked like a man. Yes, they unfit. They unprepared. In fact, this guy knows nothing about you know you know the the, the, the military formation. He knew nothing about war. He knew nothing about fighting. But they found him. They found him. And when the when they found him, that was an opportunity. Hallelujah. It, it was an opportunity. You see, it was an opportunity, amen, for, for Gideon, amen, to see himself in the light of what heaven wants to do. And you know what happened? You know all the excuses Gideon was given. And that was because Gideon was coming from a backdrop. It was coming from a mindset. Many of you that I'm speaking to right now, that I'm saying, God is opening to you windows of opportunity. You may just be looking at yourself and be saying, what kind of opportunity can be there for, amen, for me, for God to use somebody like me? It's me. 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 But guess what? God is no respecter of man. What God is looking for, amen, is a heart that is ready that is prepared amen that is willing amen to connect to what god is saying how that word is going to come to pass it's not your own concern it's not my concern 
Hallelujah. It shouldn't be your concern. What God is saying, the Bible says, believe the prophet of God and you will prosper. Like I said, yesterday night, I was just getting ready. Like I said earlier, I already had the message that I was to preach this morning. The message was already queued, amen, on, you know, on my broadcast platform. It was already queued. I was just getting ready to go to bed. And the Lord hit me with this word. I knew immediately God was speaking prophetically to the church and to the body of Christ. Remember, I just came out of a season of warfare all kinds of dimensions so god is now beginning to show me why amen yes certain things happen the way they happen why certain understanding needs to be clear all right and one of the word that came is that a window of opportunity is being opened when a window of opportunity is open what do you do the first thing that I, I i was trying to pass across to us as a scripture that came to mind when that word came to me they say seek the lord while he may be found and i was i remember asking my children this morning that is it is there a time that you seek the lord that you you won't be able to find him and i said yes now a window of opportunity was open for the people of God to do what to seek him while he may be found so in this period let's assume this this is a this is a word for us Isaiah 55 verse 6 says seek the Lord while he may be found so in meaning that God is God is basically you know placing himself putting himself out there he said I will be found by those who do not seek me that's a word that's a prophetic word i'll be found by those who do not seek me so god is basically saying i'm opening myself i'm revealing myself i'm positioning myself amen that you will now begin to find me you will begin to see my hand you'll begin to see amen yes my my move and my approval even in things that you will not assume that amen yes i i i i, I can be found there he says seek the lord while 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 you have this opportunity while you have this moment it's a prophetic word and like i said amen i've not fully come into all of the things that god is saying and nobody can you know boast to say whatever god said to them they fully understand it but one thing is clear amen I know that this is a day, this is an hour, this is a moment, amen, where God says, I'm opening the windows of opportunity for my people, all right? And I don't want you, like I said earlier, I don't want you to limit this, amen, opportunity to just material things. Of course, material things might be, amen, the, the, the final, you know, a, a manifestation, yes. But that will that should not be your focus. Your focus should be, an opportunity in the spirit for spiritual things amen to be accelerated for spiritual things to be made manifest for spiritual things to be made clearer for spiritual things amen to be made you know more broadened in terms of how you how you interact how you understand amen the heart of god the mind of god yes they will be releasing grace they will be pouring hallelujah mercy into certain areas of your life amen they will be giving you clear clearer understanding and a deeper sense amen of of knowledge and wisdom so you can make sense of why things amen happen the way they happen amen they will be giving you insight hallelujah into how to deal with certain things amen Amen. These windows of opportunity will be giving you keys, amen, to access certain doors, doors that you know seem to be very difficult to open because it's a window of opportunity. Certain revelation will be given to you. You open those doors, you gain access, hallelujah, to realms, to dimensions, to reality, amen, to positions that will shift you in the spirit, hallelujah. Are you getting what the spirit of the Lord is saying to us? So how you how you present yourself, how you understand and try to make sense of the things of the spirit has to shift. You now need to amen, be seeking for opportunities. You now need to be opening your eyes to try to see, to try to know. You, you now need to begin to pick things quicker amen, in the spirit because you want to understand, yes, what the Lord is 
is, is, is trying to communicate to you because indeed the Lord, amen, is communicating something to us. It says, yes, let the wicked forsake their, their, you know, their, 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 their ways and the unrighteous, their thoughts in the, in the season of opportunity, they say, forsake, amen, your ways, your, your own ways, forsake it. Because if they are opening windows of opportunity and you're holding on to your own ways, you're holding on to your own values, you're holding on to your own ideas, you're holding on to your mentality, you're holding on to, amen, the way you do things and the way you see things, amen, you are going to be at a logger head with the opportunity. Because remember, the ways of God are not our ways. The ways of God are not our ways. The way these opportunities are going to be coming are not going to be the way, amen, that you are able to understand or that you are able to make sense of, amen. Yes, let the wicked, the word wicked is one who does not follow, who does not walk in the ways of God. Let the wicked person, being wicked means that you are not following the ways of God, the path of God. You are you are bent on your own ways, on your own on your own ideas, on your own values. Let the wicked forsake sick their way amen and the unrighteous their thoughts why because they're going to be using god's ways god's thoughts and the righteousness of god to guide you into amen these windows remember these windows of opportunity first of all are spiritual by design they are spiritual by design so they are not things that you can look at in the natural and say, oh, well, there's an opportunity. In fact, amen, this opportunity in the natural may look contrary. When these opportunities are being opened or are coming in the natural, they may look contrary. They may not tally. They may not, you know, agree with how you understand and how you value amen yes opportunity remember there's a way we look at opportunity in the natural and we say oh that's an opportunity a good businessman amen when when he when he or she sees an opportunity in business he, he that person can tell us ah oh, there's an opportunity here all right and this is a time to make an investment this is a time amen yes to to sow a seed this is a time we know we know those things but in the spirit realm amen the ways opportunity are open to us are, are totally different and that's why i said amen in my introduction that it's important that amen we understand how spiritual things are communicated how spiritual things amen yes are, 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 are you know are interacted how we interact with spiritual things must be clear to us all right and uh, let me just show you something quickly I said, just as we have opportunities open to us in the natural realm, so we have opportunities open to us, amen, in matters of the spirit. Come on, friends. I want opportunity to be open to me in spiritual things because I want to accelerate. I want to increase. I want to grow. I want to develop, amen. I want to come into certain position. I want to be able to handle certain certain realms and reality, amen. Yes, that I believe that the Lord has made available for me, amen. I want to step into certain shoes, amen. But if I'm not mature, if I'm not ready, if they don't see me fit and prepared and ready, they won't give it to me. But now they're saying, hey, a window of opportunity is open to you. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to do what? Align myself, amen, in the spirit to such a level that I'm able, hallelujah, to see the opportunity open. I, I gave an example. I said, Zacchaeus, according to, you know, uh, uh, um, Luke 24 is a good example. Excuse me, did I say Luke 24? Luke 19. Listen to this scripture in Luke 19. I know we have taught a lot. We have talked a lot on this. But this is a good opportunity. The Bible says in Luke 19 verse 1, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. And there was a man called, amen, Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector, a superintendent to whom others reported, this is the Amplified Translation, to whom others reported, and he was rich. Zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus was, but he could not see. He, he had tried to see who Jesus was, but he could not see. So, well, what do you do, Zacchaeus? You, you give up. No. Zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus, who Jesus is, who Jesus was, amen, but he could not. The Bible said because of the cloud one, 
and because he was a he was a short person amen he was short in stature one because of the crowd amen and secondly because of his height and you would have thought well well you had opportunity jesus was coming to jericho in fact jesus was passing through jericho amen sorry zacchaeus why don't you just go home the bible says so he ran on ahead of the crowd like i said to us this is an this is an issue of attitude attitude always define our altitude attitude defines amen the next dimension the next reality the next position amen we are going to be located and the next thing we are going to be allocated our attitude amen defines our attitude can make or break us if you have a wrong attitude about the things of the spirit which amen unfortunately i see many people who claim to be spiritual have a very bad attitude they have a wrong attitude attitude you see attitude are not things that are displayed amen attitudes are picked attitudes are spiritual because attitude tells us how you value things attitude tells us amen how you understand things attitude tell us amen how you how you define things and the worth of things or the worth hallelujah of of spiritual things all right attitude attitude is a reflection of who you are your person your your character your nature amen <coughs> excuse me somebody says amen when we marry we marry attitude and I believe that we marry attitude because amen, the beauty of people amen, are the expression of their attitude. Yes, uh, you can be very wealthy, but if you have a bad attitude, amen, you're as good as a pauper, you're as good as a poor person. All right, we, we are well, we are wealthy, amen, based on the value of our attitude, amen. All I desire in life, amen, is to have the right attitude is to because if i have the right attitude i can pick things that people are not picking i can see things that people are not seeing and i can make the best investments hallelujah attitude has has helped a lot of people who had nothing who are very you know backwards who had you know you know a, a very you know difficult you know background and attitude has placed them amen in such a dimension where they, they find themselves ruling and reigning over those that are very wealthy attitude and one thing we learn about Zacchaeus is that even though he was a he was a financially successful man he also had a good attitude and I know that that attitude did not, you know, did not come in a day. I knew that he grew, amen. He, he came to a point in one day in his life and he began to look at his life. He began to, you know, you know, evaluate himself and he said, I'm very wealthy. I had this, I have this, I have that, but I've got a bad attitude. And this is the reason why I am where I am. This is the reason why I cannot break through. This is the reason why I cannot change. This is the reason why this problem, amen, is still there in my life because of my attitude nobody told him to change you see why you say people change what basically people change is their attitude when you say a person has changed amen the change in that person is an attitude it's not it's not the facial expression amen you for all i care you amen you can have a very you know uh, uh, unkept clothes and you decide to change that to a very nice one and you wear nice you know nice shoe you're looking nice and you you even change your house you change everything and you still you still have the same attitude amen basically you are just the same pig amen in a clean cloth hallelujah in a bad cloth or the same pig amen in a black in a bad cloth in a clean cloth amen attitude is what changes when we say people change and we need attitude hallelujah even in the things of the spirit you see we need because attitude tells us how we value what God is saying. Attitude tells us how we understand the premium price we, we, we place on the things of the spirit. You know, there are certain people you look at them and you can tell what they will become in the future because of their attitude. There are people you look at and you, you can say in the next in the next five years, if you continue with this attitude, you are going to become, hallelujah, yes, the head, the head of this department. You're going to become, yes, the leader of this, you know, a, a, a community. If you continue and you will tell somebody, if you continue like this attitude, you're going to lose everything you have. 
They are not cursing you. They are just predicting that based on what they see, based on your value, based on how you relate, how you con- connect, how you deal with people, how you honor people, how you disrespect people, this is going to become your end. You know, there are certain things I know about myself. Even if the devil fights me tooth and nail, I know those things are bound to come to pass. Why? Because I have developed the right attitude. And I know that there are areas in my life, if I stop drop, if I start to drop in my attitude regarding those areas, I will make a shipwreck. Simple. I don't need a prophet to tell me that. I will make a shipwreck. There are, there are things you can look at about your life and you can, you can define amen, your future. You can define where you're going to end up. There are people, amen, they show, they portray, amen, an attitude, they, 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 uh, you know, they portray an attitude of humility. But in fact, amen, what is behind that, that face, that fazak of, hum- of humility is in fact is pride. It's pride. And you know, you know that, hey, the way you're going, amen, you're going to shipwreck. You're going to shipwreck. The Bible talks about those who have, who have shipwrecked their faith because, amen, faith is an attitude. To believe is an attitude. To disbelieve is an attitude. And when you have the wrong foundation, hallelujah, uh, 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 you know, your future can be, is predictable. So, Zacchaeus, amen, had a shift of attitude. How do we know that? The Bible says he ran. I'm, I'm, we're talking about opportunity. A window of opportunity was open to him. Jesus was not coming to stay, hallelujah, in Jericho. He was passing through and he heard that Jesus was passing through. And what did he do? <laughs> that day he took off. He said, today is not a day of business. Today is a day to engage change. Today is a day to connect. Hallelujah. Today is a day to align myself. Today is a day for me, yes, to regain my true identity. Today is a day for me to connect with what God has designed and ordained my life for. Today is the day for me, hallelujah, to change. Today is the day. He made up his mind. This day, I'm not going to let it pass me by. I'm not going to go, hallelujah, yes, through this day without changing, without being transformed, without being realigned to God's intention for my life, regardless of how you look at me, regardless of how you value me, regardless of what people call you. You see, you see, people will call you names. They will give you pedestrians and position, amen, that will hinder you, that will frustrate you, that will stop you from entering, hallelujah, your day of opportunity. Opportunity, you know, people call you. You know, in Africa we do that. Big, big the, the the big man syndrome. <laughs> big man syndrome has hindered so many men of God from entering the season of God. Big man syndrome has hindered them earlier from humbling themselves and receive earlier the next dimension, the next the, the 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 next scepter of God's counsel for their life. They have become big man, big man big man you know you you've done certain things you've come to certain position amen you can't come down again Zacchaeus said all your big man big man whatever you are calling me I'm going to strip myself I'm going to strip myself he literally stripped himself hallelujah of whatever value belief system understanding name amen hailing the people call him he stripped himself the Bible said he ran ahead What are you doing? What are you running to us? When they say a window of opportunity is open to you, how do you understand that? How do you process that? How do you value this window of opportunity? What do you see as a window of opportunity being open to you? Because all of this will be speaking to your sense of spiritual amen, insight. There are people that no matter what you try to tell them, they cannot understand. Because they template to understand amen, spiritual things, spiritual opportunity. The template to make sense of, hey, opportunity is open. What do I do? I have to position myself. I have to take a seat. 
Amen. Opportunity is open in the spirit. Hey, I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to lose this moment. I'm not going to, amen, you know, trivialize this moment. I'm not going to waste this moment, amen. I'm not going to joke around with this. I'm going to link my spirit. I'm going to open the channel of my spirit and be, and be linked to this hallelujah flow. So when they're calling me to pray, I'm going to plunge myself, amen. When they're calling me to go another three days fast. Hallelujah. I'm going to plunge myself. Because it's not every day they call me. Hallelujah. After I've done you know, a long season of fast. Amen. That I, I Im- immediately again take another three days. Take another seven days. I know that there is something. Amen. That they are preparing me for. I know there is something they are about. Hallelujah. To release. I know there is something. Hallelujah. There is a position. There is an authority. Amen. There are nations that are about to be committed into my hand. There are dimensions of a power of governmental authority that they are about to release into my life and therefore they are making demand and they have released grace amen to even amen offer this demand so i'm going to seize this moment i'm going to seize this opportunity i'm not going to allow distraction i'm not going to allow people i'm not going to allow amen the circumstance i'm not going to allow amen the devil to tell me well but you just finished 21 days fasting why are you going another three days but you just finished this why are you going why you you just sow a seed yesterday why are you sowing another seed i'm i'm not gonna allow amen the achievement of yesterday to hinder me to prevent me from this moment this this window of opportunity is a moment in season amen that when jesus walked up hallelujah to to to, to that to that porch and says do you want to be healed hallelujah i'm not gonna allow all the experience of yesterday all the mistakes and the disappointment of people yes but i'm gonna stretch my hand and say yes lord i want to be healed this is what i'm gonna do because listen to this the disappointment of yesterday are always the hindrance hallelujah for the miracle of today you see you're not gonna be counting on your yesterday's achievement they say a window of opportunity you begin to ask yourself what is the nature of this window what why are they opening this window what are they trying to do in my life what are they trying to commit into my hands that amen they are releasing such a grace for supplication what is the lord doing in this season that they are pushing me more to intercede what is this thing that I'm feeling that I just want to keep praying for nations? What is this thing that is being stirred in my spirit that I, I just find myself prophesying? I just find myself accelerating into realms and that. What is this thing that they are doing in my life? You've got to have eyes. You've got to have insight. You've got to have, you know, an inquiring spirit. You've got to know, amen, the moment. You've got to understand, yes, the, 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 the season, hallelujah. You're not taking the season for granted. You're not taking what Isaiah is saying for granted. Well, this guy has come again. He's speaking. He's just speaking. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not just speaking. I'm bringing the word of the Lord to you. I'm not just speaking. I'm bringing the word of the Lord to you. If you have, if you ever need a word from the Lord, this is a word from the Lord that I'm bringing to you. And if you take advantage of what the Lord, Amen, is saying right now, and you plunge yourself, I can bet you with my life that you're going to see acceleration. I can bet you with my life that you're going to see hallelujah increase. I can tell you that you're going to see development. I can tell you that new channels will be open to you in the spirit. I can tell you that you're going to enter into a new dimension mention where things are going to be happening in your life that people are going to be wondering and say where did you come up from how did you get to this point if you would take hold of this word of God because this is not Isaiah speaking this is me hallelujah as a servant of the Lord as a vessel of God as the Daba of God as the as the as the as the voice of God bring I'm delivering to you a parcel a message from the Lord
You know this scripture? And that's why I told you. I have a different attitude in approaching some of this scripture. I know you know them. 2 Kings. 2 Kings 13. Elijah, the man of God, was about to die. The king came to visit him. And the prophet said to the king, Open the east window. So the king opened the east window. And the prophet Elisha said, Shoot. So he shot. And Elisha declared, What did he declare? This is the Lord's arrow. This is the Lord's arrow of victory. The arrow of victory over Aram. For you shall strike the Aramites in Apic until you have put them to an end. They said to him, open the window. The prophet said to the king, open the window. He did. The prophet said to him, shoot and he shot. And Elisha declared, you see, obedience to the seasons of God always release, hallelujah, accelerated grace to achieve things both in the spirit and in the natural realm. When the word of God, amen, comes to us in a particular season relating to a particular, you know, dealings or relating to a particular, you know, uh, uh, expression. And we, in return, humble ourselves in obedience, submit to that word. Hallelujah. We begin to accelerate, amen. Yes, in that area, victory, amen, within that area, you know, alignment, all kinds of things begins to work their way, amen, to the fulfillment of God's divine, you know, intention regarding that season in time. We have to understand that how we look and how we understand this season in time is very critical to what the Spirit of God is about to do. You play a major role. You are going to be playing a major role like the king. You are going to be, you know, responding, yes, to the to the prophetic, amen, unction, to the prophetic direction, to the prophetic instructions of God. Of course, we know at this period in time, amen, that this is a prophet that has come of age, that is mature. So his words are not try and error. He's not joking. Elisha was, amen, about to leave the earth. He's about to leave the way of the earth. He's about to enter, amen, into the clouds. He's about, hallelujah, to go the way of the earth. He's seizing, amen, of being a prophet has almost expired. So, the things that he's saying and he's doing and he's demanding in this period in time, it's not a joke. We got to understand that this is not a word for just a frivolous, you know, a, a, a zealous, without knowledge, you know, kind of a prophet. This is, amen, at the height, at the peak of a prophetic, amen, a, a, a journey. And God is maturing his prophetic voice. God is bringing us to a day of spiritual maturation. We are now beginning to see the coming forth, the bringing out, amen, of seasoned, mature, prophetic, hallelujah, voices. As the Lord continued to judge, amen, yes, those who have abused and maligned, amen, and misrepresent, amen, his voice and his word, the Lord is bringing forth, hallelujah, a mature season, amen, sons, full-grown sons are called prophets. Because sons only do the bidding of their father. God is bringing them out. God is aligning them. God is connecting them. Have you noticed that, amen, Elisha was not really moved, amen, by, by the grandeur, by the power and the influence of the king. He himself, hallelujah, is the father of the nation. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and his horsemen, yes, in one man, 
So you've got to understand, amen, the, the, the profile, hallelujah, and, and the authority of this man. You've, when, when God begins to bring his prophet to a day of seasons of maturity and they are serving, amen, matured wine, the, how you drink this wine, amen, matters. How you present yourself, amen. How you interact with the things of God matters so that you are not judged, amen. You are not captured and you are not found wanting. In the day where the kings, hallelujah, calls for all his, all his, you know, satraps and all his leaders from all the province, amen. And wine, amen, is given to the, you know, for everyone to drink, amen, in accordance to their ability and capacity. Be careful how you present yourself. Be careful how you drink because it's a, it's a, it's a way, hallelujah, of, 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 of sizing your level of maturity. And now they are calling you and I, amen, yes, to walk in a new level of maturity. Maturity in how you see things, in how you understand the moment. Maturity in how you are able, amen, yes, to discern the day. Maturity in terms of your relationship, your interaction, amen, with people. Maturity in, in areas of, amen, how you, you, you see the things of God. How you honor the things of God. How you place value on the things of God. Maturity on how you look at yourself and how you value yourself. Hallelujah. Yes, in the day where they say Gideon get ready get get up and leave the people to war don't begin to say I'm unable when they give you a word the word enables you the word must change your dressing you must change your dress code amen you must stop calling yourself and referring yourself amen from where you come from you need to see yourself in the light of the new because indeed like I said when God's word come it comes to change us and sometimes the change amen is to bring us to a position where where we are able to stand as a leader that is going to bring deliverance, that is going to bring healing, that is going to bring restoration to a nation that have been shattered and broken, amen, <coughs> and have become dysfunctional. We have to understand, we have to look at ourselves in the mirror of God's word and begin to call forth, amen. Yes, what they are showing us through the mirror of the word, amen, is a, is a window of opportunity, hallelujah. When you position yourself at that window, amen, yes, with the bow and you are ready to shoot. You shoot with the might that has been presented for the season. You don't, pres you don't try to shoot with your own ability. You don't try to reason the things of God from your own mindset, amen. He said, behold, I'm doing a new thing. It's springing forth. Can't you see? You have to see yourself in a new light and you begin to address things from that new position. You begin to call forth, hallelujah, the new order, the new man, the new woman, hallelujah, the new grace God has given to you. And from that position, you start to speak the heart of God. You speak the mind of God. Even though it may seem as nothing, but because the Lord has spoken, because you trust and you believe in the word of God, you begin to see change. You begin to see change. It's a window of opportunity. And I want to ask you, what is this window to you? What does this window of opportunity is? Do you have the faith to see this window? Because this window is a window that is opening the spirit. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Now, I said I was going to give you a, a, a vision that I believe connects to, to this word. And I'm going, to, I'm going to round up with this. Now, listen carefully. <clears throat> I was in this, I was, I was in this, in this vision yesterday night. We, went, we were on, on a race. There were three of us on a bike race, on a bicycle race. And we are at a very high speed. I was, I was taking the lead. I was taking the lead. We, are, we were at a very, very, very high speed. And at some point, there was a vehicle behind behind us 
and this vehicle was actually behind me and we were about to hit a bend and I said to myself if I don't slow down a bit because now I was beginning to you know uh, you know get very conscious of this vehicle behind me but we're on a we were, like I said we were on a race it was three three people and as we were about we we're about to you know make this bend I, I just slow down a bit I just slow down a bit friends before God and man I saw myself holding the wheel of the bicycle the wheel suddenly the wheel of the bicycle was in my hand and I began to of course I began to slow down and the people just passed me by and this other vehicle you know that wants to run me over also just passed me by and I'm saying to myself what is going on here why am I holding the wheel of the bicycle? Why am I holding? Why is the wheel of the bicycle in my hand? And I'm 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 trying to you know you know to, to pedal, but I can't pedal because the wheel of the bicycle is not in my hands. And I woke up and I couldn't understand what that meant until you know early hours when i went to toilet i just was easing myself while i was sitting down still processing and it all came back to me and i it's like i was hearing the lord said you should not you shouldn't have slowed down you should not have slowed down you should have continued to press to you know to go you should have continued to go now you slow down they've given you because you want to control you know the, the you know the speed now you have the wheel in your hands you don't need the wheel amen of of, of, of the bicycle in your head you need you need the wheel amen to be you know to be connected so you can continue to pedal and 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 all began to make sense to me and say oh jesus help me lord here while I'm having, you know, the tire, the wheel of the bicycle in my hand, looking like a steering, guess what? I can't use it. If if that was a car, that would have been good. You have a you have a you have a steering to hold, but it's a bicycle. Uh, uh, the wheel of a bicycle is not supposed to be held at hand. You're supposed to use, amen, the strength that has been given to you. So it's like the Lord was saying, "I gave you a strength, a window of opportunity was given to you." All right, to continue to pedal, forget about what is going to happen. I'm in charge, I'm in charge, I'm in control. But you wanted to control things. I found the wheel of the bicycle in my hand. I don't know what that, what, what if that makes sense to you. The vehicle that wanted to run me over, of course, you know, passed me by. But somehow I realized that I actually came second in that race. I should have come first. And I felt that was a great warning. Maybe not just to me, but to many of us. When they open a window of opportunity for us, don't let your mind begin to try to interpret or try to want to, you know, understand what they're doing yes you've got to let the spirit of god be the one guiding you and leading you i want to beg of you don't bring your mind to try to adjust i'm telling you can you imagine i found myself holding the wheel of the bicycle the wheel of the bicycle is not supposed to be in my hand it's supposed to be at the at the feet i'm supposed to be peddling that thing i'm supposed to but you see, it's like Peter when he's not making sense. It's like Peter, when Peter found himself walking on the water, it's like, this is unusual. Oh, Spirit of God, I thank you. God is going to be bringing us into unusual realms. Heaven is going to be bringing us into unusual realms. They're going to be asking us to do things that will not sound, uh, uh, you know, reasonable, will not look okay to the natural mind. But if it's the Lord that has opened the window of opportunity, 
speed on. The Bible said when the Spirit of the Lord came upon Elijah, as he came down from, from the mountain, he outran the chariots of the king, a chariot that had already, you know, you know, gone past. He out, he, under the grace of God, under the anointing of that wind of opportunity, the Bible says, Elijah outran. Can you begin to picture that in your mind? We're going to be coming into certain dimension of spiritual engineering that the human mind will not be able to comprehend. I was saying to myself, I need to slow down. Rather than slowing down, I should have actually, you know, put in more because I was leading. And I think this is how many of us, you know, fail in the things of God because we don't begin to use our mind. We, we want to bring our human understanding to try to comprehend, to try to adjust, to try to, you know, uh, you know, regulate the things of God. That's not what they have called you to do. They say a window of opportunity is open. What do you do? You continue. Friends, I was afraid because of the speed we were. And I mean, I believe those two other people, I don't know what they, who they are, what they represent, but I know that it was a competition. It was a competition. And that scene also changed to, you know, to another thing, another, you know, warfare and all of that and all of that. But guess what? There's so many things the Lord is doing in this period and time. As I round up, I want to encourage you, friends. When heaven opened a window of opportunity, seize the moment seize this opportunity whatever it is that they are releasing into your space grab it lay hold of it continue to press in continue to pray if they give you the grace to pray through the night do it if they are calling you to fast again do it because listen to this that opportunity comes once in a lifetime it comes once in a lifetime don't blow it don't don't joke with it whatever it is if they're asking you to 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 you know to sow a seed that looks crazy do it i don't know what they what they will be asking you to do but whatever it is if it's part of what you pick in your spirit as an opportunity do it because there is nothing you do spiritually that is not an investment into amen the acceleration of your future the acceleration of your children amen whatever you do in this period and season in time based on the promptings of the spirit based on the leading of the spirit that will not enhance your life so i want to encourage you friends let's respond to the heart of God. Wherever you are across the nation, wherever you're going to be listening to this uh, to this broadcast or podcast, I want to encourage you. Don't hold back. When they say, amen, strike the ground. Continue to strike. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Continue to strike until you have victory. When they say run, continue to run until they say stop. When they say amen, continue to fight, continue to fight, amen, until they say stop. Don't let, amen, how you value, how you understand or interpret things, amen, judge, hinder, or frustrate this moment. God is coming to you in a new way and you will be knowing him, hallelujah, from this new height, from this new way, from this new position, hallelujah. Yes, he will be coming to you in a way you've not heard before, in a way you've not seen before, but listen, there will be references, amen, and there will be, yes, uh, 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 if you will, a, 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 a sense of truth in your, own, in your own spirit, man, saying, yes, this is God, this is what the spirit of the Lord, because the Lord will not ask you to do something that he will not amen confirm or he will not affirm even with your own spirit so open your spirit to what the spirit of god is demanding father we thank you we bless your name what a word what a moment lord i have responded to what you dropped in my spirit 
This is a word not just for few of us. This is a word for the body of Christ. So I pray that this word will spread. That this word will go beyond our boundaries, our geographical locations. That this word will penetrate deep into the nations. I pray, oh God, that people will hear the sound of this of this voice of this moment this window of opportunity a timely prophetic word for the body of Christ the spirit of the Lord says now my people have a window of opportunity Lord we will seize this moment we will seize this window of opportunity we will step into it we declare that we walk into it we procure grace Grace, 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 mercy, truth to help us become all that you have designed us to be in this season and time. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Once again, thank you so much, everyone, uh, this morning for being part of this live broadcast. We want to thank God for this word. This is, a, like I said, is a seasoned word. This is a word that, amen, heaven dropped in my spirit yesterday night. And uh, uh, this is something that I also will continue to probe, to look into. There are several things that, you know, one can talk about. In fact, since yesterday night, I've been kind of doing a study on windows and all of that. You know, windows in relating to prophetic uh, instructions and all of that. But and I'll continue to do what I believe the Lord will have me to do. But I want to encourage you, please, let's Akin to this word, and let's allow this word to continue to guide us as the Spirit of the Lord takes us to new height. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Sister Tina. Thank you, Sister Priscilla, Sister Kumisa, and any other person out there that has joined us that will be listening, amen, to this podcast, that has been listening to this podcast. God bless you. We'll see you again. God bless you. Enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Love you all. Bye bye.